Hey everyone, <clears throat> Nathan Wells here. Uh, sorry about that, I've been having some trouble trying to uh, actually get stuff recorded on YouTube and uh, this time it actually worked. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk about a few things quickly. Um, first off, um, some of you have uh, sent me messages wondering where um, a fellow book firm has gone. Um, his YouTube account was uh, Crick Films. Um, uh, his account was closed. The reasons are unclear. Um, YouTube denies that they closed it, so we really don't know what happened. But um, Brendan has uh, Brendan Crick. That's his name. Um, he's gone ahead and opened a new account, and um, it's called Brendan Crick Films. And uh, I have it as a. He's one of my friends, uh, YouTube friends, and also I subscribe to him. And I'll also uh, post a link in in the sidebar. So you guys can go check him out if uh, you guys haven't found his account already. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, I also want to uh, do a quick note on Driven. Uh, I finished animating it, uh, which is uh, quite a milestone. I finally f uh, animated the last scene on Friday, um, the last shot, and um, I've started working on the post-production. And uh, since I was editing it while I was uh, filming it, I have almost no editing to do. I've already um, assembled a rough cut and sent it out to my test audience, and uh, they are reviewing it and uh, have sent me some very uh, helpful uh, suggestions. Uh, so now this phase is basically working on all the special effects, and there's actually quite a lot that um, I really didn't think about until um, I actually viewed the rough cut and I realized how many effects I needed to do. Uh, most of them are pretty minor, like uh, the motorcycle's going to be given headlights, uh, so it'll be glowing, and um, but there'll be other things that uh, will be more complex, and I'm not going to be doing most of these effects. There's a, a, a friend of mine, uh, Louis Chin, also known as Lechnology. Um, I'm not certain if he has a YouTube account, um, but if you want, he's on the uh, bookfilms.com. Um, Lechnology, he's, uh, he was uh, nominated Actually, actually, he also won a, uh, a BAMPA award, which is a uh, book filming achievement in motion picture arts or something like that, um, for his film Repent. He's a very good book filmer and a friend of mine, and he's agreed to do the special effects. And um, he has done the special effects for uh, two uh, other book films. Uh, one of them you probably know, Mirrored Perspective, by my uh, friend Zach Macias. Um, it's available on his YouTube account. Uh, he did the, uh, Louis Chin did the uh, shattering mirror effect in Mirrored Perspective. He also did uh, some smoke effects for another brick film uh, called The Lonely Number, which was uh, by Matt Gillen, who's also on YouTube. And uh, he's a f also one of my YouTube friends, and I subscribe to him as well. So uh, I'll link to all those in my uh, sidebar. So he'll be doing the effects, uh, mostly uh, headlight, but also some smoke exhaust effects and a few of, few other uh, more in-depth detailed effects. And so I'm glad I got uh, animation done because uh, the deadline is July 7th and excuse me and uh, so then I have a few weeks to he has a few weeks to get the effects done. He's already sent me some test effects and they look awesome so I'm really pleased on how things are turning out. Uh, along with that I've got uh, some extensive uh, uh, editing to put the backgrounds in to uh, spots where I've done blue screening. And I've run into a uh, kind of a problem. Uh, I've been able to, I have not been able to successfully key out any backgrounds. It's just that if I try keying out a background, it uh, also keys out things that I don't want keyed out. So um, for most shots um, where the camera's not moving and when people are not f walking in front of the blue screen, it's turned out pretty easy. All I have to do is um, import one frame into Photoshop and uh, then I uh, mask it out instead of key it out and insert my background picture and then I'm able to uh, overlay that in Adobe After Effects over the um, footage and it just fixes it right there. Now there's some shots where the camera's moving or people are moving in front of the blue screen and those are going to be much more tricky. Um, either I'll have to really figure out how to key it right or I'm going to have to edit it frame by frame and mask out the background. So I'm going to see how that works. Um, I've gotten most of the masking for the still shots done. And as I said, I, I have a, you know, a, f a week or so to do the rest of the video editing. 
So I've got plenty of time. I'm definitely going to meet the deadline. If worse comes to worse, um, well, I could possibly refilm a few shots with blue screening that won't look as good. Uh, it's just I'll I'll see how things turn out. I think I'll make it. I'll definitely make it. I will release Driven on time, um, and I, at the rate I'm getting the things done, I probably won't have to cut any corners, which is I'm really thankful for. So yeah, everything's everything's coming together. I'm really pleased. I really can't focus too much on Driven now though, because uh, summer school is uh, in full swing, and I've got <sighs> this to work on. You know, history of the you know. I've got uh, Western Civilization, history of uh, you know history of Re Western Civilization from 1600 to present, uh, compressed into about eight weeks, because it's a summer class. So it's going to be an interesting run, and uh, hopefully uh, I've got my uh, first test coming up on July 2nd already, and uh, there's three tests total, and I also have a paper, so that's going to be interesting. Hopefully I'll get uh, you know I want to get driven out of the way. Um, so I can focus on um, my, uh, you know, my history class. I also will be working on in um, a few other films, but very slowly. They'll be behind the scenes, uh, not uh, not very intense, because they won't have. Uh, I I really need to focus on summer school and everything. I'll definitely will be working on Dear Cousin uh, with uh, Zach Macias, but uh, we have no set deadline for that. Um, so I won't be as intensive trying to get it done quickly. So uh, that's just the update for now. Um, I hope you guys are excited. Driven will be released on July 9th unless like the apocalypse happens or something. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys soon.